Okay, so good day to everyone. Um, it's a little bit night time while I'm recording this. And, um, yun nga. Uh, for this video discussion, we'll be having two modules. And, itong dalawang module na ito, ito rin yung dalawang last topics for discussion natin for finals. Um, if you could see the calendar of activities that are remaining for our second semester for our current semester um, after this week we'll be having another week and after that finals exam na so medyo mabilis kaya ayoko na kayong i-bombard ng masyadong maraming information total um, the rest of the modules naman are are not that yes it's important pero medyo uh, high level na siya more on din discuss siya sa mga uh, masteral studies and um, other major subjects pero um, what I'm planning to discuss right now are the modules na tingin ko kailangan ninyo at tingin ko mas makakatulong sa inyo when uh, coming up with a business uh, so let's start without further ado Ngayon, ang didiscuss natin uh, first and foremost is the IE matrix. If you guys remembered our last topic um, nung tayo, bago tayo magtapos ng midterms, is yung EFE and IFE matrix. Um, EFE matrix is the external factors evaluation matrix and IFE naman is internal factor evaluation matrix. Uh, um, aware na kayo kung paano ginagawa yun, almost like the competitive matrix that we have done last semester nung tinuro ko sa inyo, wherein you will assign uh, specific weight values and then mag assign and then you will rate um, the company on how well they are doing on or on how it affects on how it affects your company and then you will multiply the rating and the weighted value to get the weighted score and then you add yun lahat you will get the total weighted score um, so EFE is external so it means that it is beyond our control opportunities and threats most likely and then for IFE naman it is, is internal factor so it meets within our company we can control so ito yung strengths and weaknesses natin so meron tayong total weighted score upon doing the EFE and IFE matrix pero hindi ko sinabi or hindi ko tinuro kung ano ang gagawin dun sa total weighted score natin and yung total weighted score for those matrix for, uh, for those matrix Dito natin i-apply sa paggawa ng IE matrix. So, ano nga ba yung IE matrix? Here in our modules, it is uh, defined as a tool used to formulate strategies relative to the competitive position of an organization and the working conditions in the industry. Uh, the matrix uses the results from IFE and EFE matrix, putting the total results and plotting them on an X and Y axis. Uh, IE matrix is a nine cell platform that is divided into three major regions with different um, interpretations or different meaning. So, ang IE matrix ginagamit ito or ginagawa ito para malaman mo ngayon yung iyong competitive position. The competitive position of, of an organization or a business and the working conditions of the industry that they are currently in. So parang um, ina-analyze ng IE matrix natin kung gaano nga ba kaganda ang operations natin, kung gaano nga ba kaganda ang position ng company natin based on many factors and also based on how well the industry is doing or how well the industry your business is currently in doing so parang yun yung uh, goal ng IE matrix natin gusto niya yung gusto nating malaman ngayon kung ano nga ba ang position ng company natin ngayon is it doing well is it doing not so well or is it doing relatively very not well parang ganun so para siyang um, high moderate and low Tapos, depende sa posisyon ngayon ng company mo, saka ka ngayon mag-iisip kung ano ang mga strategies na kailangan mong gawin. So, for example, pag kayo ay nabilang doon sa matataas na rating, ano ngayon ang kailangan strategies na i-formulate natin? 
Uh, pag kayo naman ay nandoon sa mababang rating, sa lowest rating, ano ngayon yung mga strategies na kailangan natin gawin? Ganon yung uh, paggawa ng IE matrix natin. So, uh, kailangan mo na of course yung IFE and EFE matrix. Evaluate muna natin yung mga factors natin. And then, saka natin malalaman kung nasa ang posisyon nga ba ang company natin. So, ganon ang ibig sabihin ng... Uh, IE matrix. So, kung makikita ninyo dito sa baba, uh, makikita natin dyan kung ano ang pag-construct, kung paano kinoconstruct ang IE matrix. So, makikita nyo dyan, no, may X and Y axis. Sir, saan po yung X and Y axis natin dito? Ang X and Y axis natin dito, makikita nyo, doon sa may numerical values. So, Y axis, alam nyo na yan sa inyong... Um, ano ba, geometry or trigonometry. Uh, Y-axis yung vertical and then X-axis naman yung horizontal. So, nakalagay dyan, our X-axis, syempre yung may numerical values na 4 from the top, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, pababa. And then, sa X-axis naman natin, ang 4 magsisimula sa left, 3, 2, 1, pa, pa, uh, pa right side siya. And then, another thing na kailangan yung alalahanin when doing the IE matrix is the position of the cells and kung ano yung mga regions or yun nga, yung sinasabi nating uh, different regions na um, ikalalagay ng, ng inyong company. So, tat, uh, tatlo lang naman ang pinakakailangan yung alalahanin sa paggawa ng isang IE matrix. First is yun nga, yung X and Y axis natin, yung position ng mga numerical values. 4 from the top, 3, 2, 1, pababa. 4 from the left, 3, 2, 1, pa, pa right. And next thing na kailangan yung alalahanan dito is yung terms na grow and build, hold and maintain, harvest or divest. Yun yung mga regions or yun yung mga positions ng company ninyo. So for example, pag nasa grow and build ka, ibig sabihin maganda ang iyong uh, position ng company. Hold and maintain, uh, you are doing well pero not really that well to the extent na kaya mong mag-risk ng masyado. Harvest or divest, ito naman yung palugi na or pa -decline, parang declining um, stage na ng inyong business. And the next thing na kailangan yung alalahanin is the placement of these regions dito sa 9-cell nine um, nine matrix natin or dito sa table na ito. So, um, to better discuss itong mga regions na ito, uh, let's go with this one. The first region made up of cells 1, 3, and 4. Tatandaan ninyo, the first region is cells 1, 1, 2 pala, 1, 2, and 4. It's known as the grow and build region. So, ano nga ba ang mga strategies na pwede natin gawin pag tayo ay nasa grow and build region? Grow and build region specifically means that you are doing well. Uh, your organization is doing well. Uh, maganda ang operations ninyo, smooth naman. Um, you are doing well when it comes to sales, kumikita kayo ng malaki. So ngayon, ang strategies ninyo is more on venturing out. More on uh, exploring new ideas. Kaya nyo ngayon mag-risk ng malaki kasi malaki ang kinikita ninyo. Kung baga kung mag-fail man ng risk ninyo, hindi kayo masyadong maapektuhan. Kasi nga, malaki ang, kung baga, malaki ang opportunity ninyo to venture out or to discover new things or to try new things. Kasi pag nag-fail man ang risk ninyo, hindi masyadong malaki ang drawback nun sa organization ninyo. So how does this work? Strategies, um, strategies that are intensive such as market penetration, market development, product development, or diversification. Um, you guys are aware naman na kung paano to ginagawa, yung market penetration. You are trying to cater to the demands of a new market, yung hindi naman usual market ninyo. Market development is you are trying to develop the current demands of the current market that you have. And product development naman, based from the term itself, you are just developing your own products. And diversification last, you, are, you would like to try new products for your current market. 
Next is the integrity, uh, integrative strategies such as backward, forward, and horizontal integration. Ibig sabihin lang naman ito is if you are if you, if you would if you want to move forward doon sa I mean venture out and try new things, backward to slow things down or horizontal integration kung mga constant or stagnant lang tayo kung ano yung currently na ginagawa ninyo yun lang din ang gagawin ninyo. So, ito yung mga strategies na uh, usually ginagawa sa mga company na nagpo-fall in this region. Firms falling on this region can be considered strong. They have advantages that let them compete better. Dahil nga doon, since maganda ang performance nila, they, can, they, can, they have this opportunity to risk more. Kung baga, kaya nila nga yung mag-risk ng sobra-sobra kasi maganda nga ang position ng company nila. So, I hope that is good enough for you guys. The next region that we'll be talking about is the hold and maintain region. The second region is made up of 3, 5, and 7 cells. So, kung yung una, the first region, grow and build is 1, 2, and 4. Uh, the second region naman is 3, 5, and 7. Companies falling in this cells can look into hold and maintain strategies. Ano nga, so ano naman ngayon yung mga strategies na kailangan nilang, uh, yung mga pwede nilang gawin. Since companies falling in this um, region is yung mga company na hindi masyadong, hindi, hindi masyadong maganda pero hindi rin masyadong pangit. Kumbaga moderate, nasa gitna lang, kumbaga tabang timpla lang sila. They are doing well enough to consider that um, kumikita sila pero hindi pa sila ganun ka far off or hindi pa sila ganun ka hindi pa ganun ka polido or kaganda ang performance nila kaya ang difference naman nito is kaya nilang mag-move forward pero not to take a uh, big risk kaya nilang mag kaya nilang mag-venture forward pero hindi masyadong um, risky dapat yung mga operations na gagawin nila. So, ano yung mga strategies na, kay, na pwede nilang gawin ngayon? Market penetration and product development are commonly employed by companies falling in this region. Uh, so, itong PCBI na to, market penetration and product development kasi, ito yung dalawang uh, dalawang forms of strategies natin na hindi masyadong risky. Kung baga yung drawback niya, if you will fail, is hindi masyadong malaki. Kung, uh, let's say for example, diba, you will try to do market penetration. Um, uh, for example, ikaw ay isang um, grilling restaurant, nagiihaw kayo ng mga pagkain, and then somehow you wanted to to uh, to try to cater the demands of another market. Siguro, syempre pa, di ba, pag ihaw-ihaw yan, madalas mga, uh, mga fatty foods ang iniihaw. So, you want to cater to the demands of the healthier market. Yung mga nagko-conserve or yung mga nagda-diet. Since gusto mong i-penetrate yung market na yun, nagbigay ka ngayon sa kanila ng mga products na pwede nalang masubukan. Kaso, hindi nila masyadong nagustuhan or hindi nila masyadong uh, tinangkilik yung mga product mo. Hindi ka masyadong maapektuhan kasi meron ka ng established market. Meron ka ng, uh, kumbaga meron ka ng safety, uh, safety pillow or safety net na okay, since maganda naman ang pagtangkilik dun sa mga fatty food na iniihaw ko, bakit hindi ko subukan naman mag-healthy? Pero yun nga, since hindi maganda yung tanggap ng healthy foods, meron ka pa rin safety net dun sa mga medyo matataba na iniihaw mo or medyo mga uh, matataas ang calories na iniihaw mo. So, hindi siya masyadong risky. Hindi masyadong risky yung drawback sa'yo. Same thing with product development. If you will try to develop your product slowly, slowly uh, within the company, tapos may kita mo na yung feedback ng mga tao is hindi masyadong maganda, pwede ka ngayon bumalik unti-unti doon sa previous uh, status ng product mo. So, hindi din siya masyadong risky. Excuse me. Firms falling in this position are capable enough to do better in the competition but do not have too much 
to do any dramatic moves. So yun nga, tulad ng sinasabi ko kanina, yung mga business or yung mga company na nagpo-fall dito sa region na to, sa hold and maintain, kaya nilang uh, sumubok ng mga bagong style or bagong strategies pero hindi masyadong risky yung mga ginagawa nila compared doon sa first region natin na grow and build na kaya nilang mag, kaya nilang mag risk kasi maganda ang position ng company nila lastly we have your cells um, ano ba to? 6, 8 and 9 fall on the harvest and divest region Harvesting and divesting are options that lead a company to stop operating. Companies falling in this place are mostly weak companies. They are sometimes experiencing a lot of loss. And in order to mitigate this problem, they have to liquidate in order to lessen their losses. So, ito, simply put, yung mga hindi masyadong maganda ang um, uh, position ng company nila. Uh, and ang tanging paraan lang nila to ano to help recover is yun nga to liquidate in order to lessen their losses alamin kung ano yung problema maybe cut off some huge cost mga unnecessary cost natin sa mga companies sometimes uh, sometimes kailangan nila mag lay off tulad ng uh, maraming mga kumpanya ngayon uh, nag lay off sila ng mga empleyado nila so, there are many ways on how to recover, pero simply put, dapat syempre yung strategies mo, if you will fall under this region, is yung mga strategies na makakatulong sa iyo bumangon ulit. Um, uh, a few examples of this is to lessen talaga, parang yun talaga yung pinaka-focus ng strategies na dapat gawin pag nandito sa region na to, to lessen the cost, to lessen, to para mabawasan yung gastos nila. And para mabawasin yung gastos nila, they have to cut off some few things, unnecessary cost natin. Uh, sometimes, ayan nga, um, to the point na naglilay off na sila ng mga trabahador, just to, just to give the company a surviving chance. So, yun po yung mga regions na pinag-uusapan natin sa IE Matrix. Ngayon, papaano po tayo magpa-plot? Para natin malalaman ngayon kung ano yung position ng company na meron tayo. Dito papasok yung total weighted score ng EFE and IFE matrix natin. So for example, gamitin natin, ayan nga, dito sa module natin, let's use the last um, EFE matrix. So here, sa EFE matrix nung huli nating module, 2.46 ang uh, ang total weighted score ng EFE matrix. And sa IFE matrix naman is 2.79. Now, the EFE and IFE matrices show a total score of 2.46 and 2.79 respectively. The result of the EFE matrix will be plotted into the y-axis. So, tatandaan nyo, pag EFE, environment, uh, external factor evaluation, external meaning outside our company, pinaplot siya sa y-axis yung patay and the result of the IFE matrix naman will be on the x-axis of the IE matrix. So this coordinate falls on the cell 5, which is the hold and maintain region, which suggests hold and maintain strategies. The organization can either do a market penetration of product development or product development strategy. So, yun po yung uh, paggawa ng isang IE matrix natin. Ipa-plot lang natin siya by the use of the X and Y axis to see kung saan nga ba ang company natin or kung anong position ngayon yung company natin. So, since 2.46 is 2.79 is between the middle region, kung makikita ninyo, uh, syempre, uh, bago mag uh, nasa gitna siya if you will plot it in the X and Y axis so it will fall under the hold and maintain region kaya yung mga strategies na yun, ngayon na kailangan gawin ng company na ito is market uh, is yun nga to hold and maintain their current standing ang mga pwede na lang strategies na gawin is yun nga either market penetration or product development strategies so ganun lang naman siya uh, kadali you will just do first an EFE and IFE matrix of your um, company. And then you will just plot the total weighted scores dito sa IE matrix natin 
to see kung saan nga ba ang uh, category na nagpo-fall yung company ninyo. So I hope that is clear with everyone and that concludes our IE matrix, the first uh, the first module that we will be discussing.